Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today I'm going to make a, a cauliflower. We decided to call them patties yesterday. Uh, I made them yesterday that I was cleaning out the refrigerator and because my wife said, Doc, don't forget about the cauliflower. Box. So anyway, I made them. So I posted a picture and a lot of people was, well, what are they? What are they? They look good. First I called them burgers, but you can't really call them burgers. But they're healthy, and then the other thing is, I'm dedicating it to uh, my brother-in-law, Eddie, uh, because I mentioned I put some lentils in there. See, we had some leftover lentils, and I said, let me get rid of those. So I guess there was a little confusion about what lentils were, or are. So it's going to be a short little video, cooks up real quick, mixes real quick, a few ingredients, and uh, then I'm going to be making another video following that, okay? So let's uh, get right on into it. Okay, so here we have our ingredients, salt and pepper, there to the left in the container. My all-purpose flour. I have my bacon. Then in front of that is a tablespoon measure and a ice cream scoop that I use to scoop out, make, make my little patties. Some Parmesan cheese. I have two eggs, some chopped up uh, shrimp, uh, extra virgin olive oil, red pepper flakes, and in the container next to that is part of my leftover lentils I'm going to use, and I just put the bag in there to show you. I'm not using all those lentils. And then I have a bag of uh, fresh cauliflower. All right, hold on. Okay, so now we're going to add the ingredients. First, I'm dumping in my cauliflower. This roughly about two cups. Next, I'll be putting my two eggs in. I'm going to get a fork here and stir in a little bit. I mean, this is really easy. Just mix this in pretty good. Add a little bit of the uh, lentils, the beans. These are really good for you. Um, I started experimenting with these a couple weeks ago. Uh, they started mentioning about shutting down the meat plants in that well. These beans, these lentils have a high concentration of protein just in a quarter cup, which is, I think it's close to what you'd get if you had a uh, hamburger or a chunk, a nice chunk of steak, but anyway, as you can see, they mix in pretty well. Okay, so now I'm going to dump in some uh, shrimp, a little pieces of shrimp that I cut up, some of the bacon, mix that in. Put in some flour, two tablespoons of flour. I figured that should be enough. At least that's what I did yesterday. I'm still uh, experimenting with this, but I guess that didn't put the shrimp in. And, uh, I thought it'd be nice, so there you have it. I'm mix that in. Then my Parmesan cheese, nice little handful of that. My wife, my wife likes the cheese. Penny loves the cheese, so uh, and I, it's also used. I use it mainly for like a binder to hold everything together. Hopefully, <laughs> okay. So 
this is the actual mix of everything. And I'll throw in some pepper flakes. A couple shakes, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon, a little less. Stir those around, it gives it a little bite. Not much, just a, occasionally you might get one without none in there, so. And then I'm gonna give it a dash or two of my salt and pepper mix. I'll be showing you guys how to make this one day when I make uh, my spices. Okay, that is the mix. All the ingredients are in. Now we're gonna work our way over to the stove and proceed to cook. And these things are hopefully gonna come out just like they did yesterday, but they taste real good. My daughter Emma came home and uh, she scarfed up six of these little patty things. I asked her, I said, how was it? She goes, well, there's six missing, ha, ha, ha. So anyway, back over when we get to the stove. Okay, we're back at the stove. I got the butter and the oil in the pan. Now we're gonna start adding our little friends. I like them. Anyway, I'm gonna add one here now with the scoop. What you do is you just take your scoop and plop them. And the reason I use a scoop that way, I mean, a lot of you should know, figure it out that they all come out about the same. And uh, cause I tried my other stuff by hand sometimes when I make the cabbage ones and one's bigger than the other, fatter than the other, skinnier than the other. Well, these here come out about the same. So it's not too, too bad, but it's, it's good. Anyway, this is over a medium low heat. I'm supposed to cook them slow, I think. It's a good idea, I cook everything slow, low and slow. That way it don't burn, it'll cook. So yesterday I cooked these about four or so minutes on each side, maybe five. Okay. So then after you let them sit, uh, set a minute, you take your fork and I'm going to flatten them out as soon as I wipe my fingers off. But you can hear a little sizzle, I think. I can't, but I'm right here. You're not. Okay. So when you get them like this, you just give them a little, see, a very light little pat down. And you can see all your little shrimpies in there, some cheese. See the little lentils and little dark colored dots. Now when you make the lentils, just letting you know, if you decide to make some lentil soup or lentils, just lentils on the side dish, you can make them like a, like regular beans. You can mix, uh, and I, I tried, I looked on the internet, and there was different things. I tried, uh, when I made the first batch, I tried two cups to one cup of beans. Well, that turned out okay, but some of them were still hard. And Penny don't like nothing hard, so, I mean, like with beans. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, I had to uh, come up, and so anyway, I was looking around, and like I said, there's different variations of what you can do with them. Some people making soup, which I knew I could make soup with them. I heard that a long time ago. Like when I was a kid, my grandmother used to make uh that pasta lentiki or whatever the heck it's called, but turns out that that was a uh, pasta with lentils. So anyway, three cups of water to one cup of lentils should do you right. If you're just making it as a side dish, 25, 30 minutes, maybe a little longer. Uh, if there's any water in it, you could drain the excess off. And you can mix up, you know, a little couple things in there, or onions, carrots, whatever you want. Or you could just eat them plain like Penny and I did. With them, put some salt and pepper, some little bit of hot flakes, and uh, off to the races. So this is uh, this is the slow part right here. So I'll come back to you when we get these flipped over, okay? Okay, so we're back, and uh, I just flipped them. As you can see, they got a nice golden brown color on them. That was about four minutes. Uh, I'm probably going to do another three to four minutes on this side. Um, but anyways, I'm getting better at the, uh, the YouTube thing. Um, that's thanks to my daughter, Stephanie. 
Uh, she helped me by downloading a YouTube studio app, which gives me access to things I was looking for, but I couldn't find them, i.e. the description box that you can put the ingredients down, the recipe down, and whatever else you want to link up to. So from now on, there's no more video thing of me zooming in on a, re a recipe. Everything's going to be down in the description box. The, the ingredients, the, the amount, uh, and cooking time, how to cook them, it's all going to be in there. So that besides that, uh, uh, Stephanie said she would help me. Uh, she has her own YouTube site, uh, but she also uh, she does commercial art stuff, and that's so she's going to try to help me fancy my videos up I guess I don't know I don't know what she said she wants to help me do that so that'd be nice and see I don't type that good it took me like an hour the other day just to type up the little description in the description box about the recipe I was doing and uh penny less but I think she can type that up in like five minutes so she said she would help me too so every little bit helps but I still want to do these I enjoy it it's fun it gives me something to do and besides that Give me something to eat. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I got like, uh, this is the second batch. And I, when, when I did yesterday, I got 15 or 16 of these bad boys. Like I said, my daughter came home and she scarfed up six. So, and I had one and Penny had one. That was a taste test. And then we only got two left. So, Penny and I had a couple for dinner. So, it all worked out. I got a guy coming to pick up some pots I did for him yesterday. Uh, restored some of those uh, cast iron pots. It came out really well. He's coming today to pick it up, but I sent him the pictures of what I did. And I, you know, this could be a side dish. I don't know. You can eat it, but uh, it tastes really good with the. Uh, and he makes an imitation. Uh, um, Arby's hot sauce, the white cream sauce. Man, that's good. Whatever she does to it, I don't, I don't know. But put a little of that on the side of the dish and dip these in there. Holy moly. Because you know, they have a little horseradish in it too. So horsey sauce, I think they call it. Now that I'm thinking of it. But anyway, as you see, it's the same process. But it doesn't take long. And these things are really going to taste good. Uh, I know you guys don't know that yet. But if you were to make them, which I hope you do, you would figure out they do taste good and they're not hard to make they're healthy uh, it's one thing when I'm trying to cook stuff especially nowadays uh, <laughs> we very rarely eat bread we haven't had pasta in I don't know how long just the other day we went off the wagon we splurged on a little pizza because I had done so much that one day we didn't, Penny didn't want me cooking so but that we don't eat hardly anything we don't have rice and if we do it would be brown rice and I'm trying to cook everything that's, because uh, we're trying to follow the Weight Watcher thing, so it's Weight Watcher friendly almost. Um, the only thing, like here, I put some bacon in. Really ain't supposed to do that on Weight Watchers, but just a few crumbles. You saw that. That's how I look at it anyway. But it tastes good. It's fun. Uh, I'm going to make a bread, hopefully. I mean, I made a bread out of these already. Um, I don't think I did a video with it, but it turned out really good. We've made pizza with uh, the cauliflower, we had bread with it. Actually made the cauliflower bread and we had egg sandwiches. That was really good. Um, made cauliflower soup. I'm going to be doing that again. Uh, but there's a bunch of different things. Very versatile and you could mix almost anything with it. But it's healthy and it's good. Okay, we'll be back when I flip these over. Okay, we're back. I'm just flipping these over. This is the second batch, like I said, there'll be one more after this, I believe. And as you can see, they're just nice looking, I, I called them burgers yesterday, because they look like a dang hamburger when you get a nice color on them like that. But Penny said, call them patties, not burgers, so that's what I'm calling them. We're going to call these cauliflower patties. And the video I'm going to do next following this one is uh, I'm going to show you guys like we get chicken when it's on sale. So we got some today. Uh, and what I do is I take all the chicken breasts and I just fillet them. 
and uh, out of a, I get like three, four, I fillet like three times out of one half of the breast, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how they come. I, they're not like a full chicken breast, but, but anyway, you get enough meat out of that and it's, it's good. Uh, I mean, I can get quite a few meals out of that, but it doesn't take that much room up in the freezer either. I put them in a Ziploc bag and boom. So I'm going to show you guys that next. And uh, after that, I'll call it a day for that stuff. You see that little pad of butter and a tad bit of oil I put in there is just about gone. So I have to use another little pad of butter and a little drop of oil for the next batch. And we'll be back. Okay, uh, third and final batch coming at you. We're gonna try to squeeze them out a little with the last little bit, probably a half a scoop. Try to plop that in the middle. Hopefully, it ain't too tight in there. Now they're all snug as a bug in the rug. So like I said, you let them cook a little like this, and then after that, we're going to mush them down. And this is the final cooking, so, so far we've gotten 16, we're going to have 16 when we get done here, so I'll be back. Okay, this is the third and final batch, and once these are done... I'll stack them on top of the other ones, and I'll be over there to taste them out. By the way, somebody snuck in here while you guys was gone. I'm not going to mention no names, are we, Pen? But two of these things have been absconded and gone. Okay. <laughs> 